بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وسدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتح علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is a short talk about ultrasound transducers types and clinical uses in ultrasound and what are the differences between the ultrasound transducers. Ultrasound transducer is also called a probe, and it is a device that produces sound waves that bounce off the body tissue and make echoes. And the transducer also receives the echoes and send them to the computer that uses them to create an image it called sonogram. Also, you find the ultrasound transducers has different shapes, sizes, and with, with diverse features. And that is because we need different specification for maintaining image equality across different parts of the body. And the transducer can be either passed over the surface of the body, and we call them external transducers, or can be inserted in the orifice like rectum, vagina, or Osophagus, and we call them internal and transducers. In general, three different types of transducer in ultrasound used: the sector type, the linear type, and the convex type. The sector type. Transducer, as we said, it is emit sounds with in a fan shape, as we see here, and the transducer head is small, and the beam close to the transducer is narrow. As the beam travels away from the transducer, it widens and the image more of the deeper structure produced. And this transducer can be used in neonatal skull head ultrasound. The the small transducer head can see in the brain parenchyma through and fused skull sutures. The linear transducer is emit ultrasound waves in parallel way and achieving high high resolution surface structure including the skin lesion. And the third type, this is the convex type, and they produce ultrasound waves in a convex pattern. And the sounds are emitted in convex or fan shape with large convex transducer. And only there is more space between the sound waves close to the transducer. And this 
to answer you, sir, is used in abdominal ultrasound. The linear transducer can be 2D or 3D, and some application of the linear transducer, it is include the vascular examination, vena puncture, blood vessels, visualization can be used in the breast, thyroid, tendon, arthrogenesis, arthrogenous rectangular beam shaped, and it is also used intraoperative in, with laparoscope. The thickness measurement of the body fat and the muscular for daily health care check and locomotive syndrome check. The 3D linear transducer, it is between 7.5 megahertz and 11 megahertz and can be used in breast, thyroid, and artery carotids for vascular application. The convex transducer is also it is 2D and 3D, and the 2D, it is between 2.5 megahertz and 7.5 megahertz, and this is the convex transducer, and the convex transducer used in the abdominal examination, examination and the 3D, has wide field of view transducer between 3.5 and 6.5 megahertz, and it is also used in abdominal examination. The first array transducer as we see it here in this image, and here, has a small footprint and low frequency, and it is central frequency between 2 megahertz and 7.5 megahertz. The beam is narrow, but it is expand depending on the applied frequency. And the near field resolution is poor. We have other types of transducer. We have the pencil transducer called Doppler continuous wave Doppler bulb and utilized to measure the blood flow and the speed of the sound in the blood. And this bulb has a small footprint and uses low frequency between 2 megahertz and 8 megahertz. And we have the endocavitary bulb and this used in the examination in the body of orifices like endovaginal, endorectal, <laughs> and these, uh, these uh, transducers typically have small footprints and the frequency between 3.5 megahertz and 11.5 megahertz. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu alaikum.